If you're considering a move from the United States over to Portugal, one of the first questions you have is obviously, where are you going to end up? There are a plethora of amazing places to live. Welcome, my name is Andorra, and today in this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 places to live in Portugal. Portugal has become an increasingly popular destination for expats and retirees looking for a peaceful and affordable place to call home. From the vibrant capital city of Lisbon to the charming coastal towns of the Algarve, Portugal has something for everyone. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the top 10 places to live in Portugal based on factors such as cost of living, climate, culture, and overall quality of life. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the top 10 places to live in Portugal. Lisbon is often referred to as the city of seven hills, thanks to its hilly landscape. In fact, some hills are so steep that there are handrails along the sides. While this may make walking around the city a bit more challenging, it also provides some stunning views of the city from different vantage points. Some popular hills to check out include the Miradouro de São Pedro de Alencantara and the Miradouro de Senhora de Monte. Lisbon locals enjoy a vibrant nightlife, street art, fado music, a fantastic food culture, and of course, we can't forget the famous pastel de nata, Portugal's most famous pastry. This delectable treat was originally created by the monks at the Geronimos Monastery in Balém, a laid-back area of Lisbon with shaded lawns and historic landmarks. See the link down below if you want to stop by the original Pastéis de Berlim and try one for yourself. Although you can find these all over Portugal, there's nothing like going right to the source. Lisbon is the biggest, most lively, and most expensive city in Portugal. For something a bit quieter, check out one of the neighboring towns. Just a short distance outside of Lisbon, along the coast, lies Sintra, a resort town in the cooling foothills of the Portugal's Sintra Mountains. A long-time royal sanctuary, this lush, forested terrain is studded with fairy tale like villas and extravagant palaces. The hilltop 19th century Peña National Palace is known for a whimsical design and sweeping views not to be missed. Other than the busy summers, Sintra is typically a quiet, relaxed refuge next to the beautiful forest enjoying ocean breezes off the Atlantic coastline. A wonderful way to experience Sintra is to enjoy a day tour from Lisbon. This can give you a really great feel for this very unique area. Check out the link below for more. Cascais is another coastal town just outside of Lisbon, popular for its beaches, high-end shopping, and lively atmosphere. Just a short drive or train ride out of the capital city and you can be home. Think of this as the Aspen of Portugal, with higher-end developments and with that, a higher cost of living. Porto is the second biggest city in Portugal. It's located along the green coast in the north, where weather is cooler and wetter. This thriving city rests at the mouth of the famous Douro River, which winds through the country's biggest wine region, the Douro Valley. It's stunning, with vineyards sprawling over the hills and mountains, all the way down to the river, a must-see. Consider taking a river cruise to have a really special experience of the area. In Porto, you will find street art, vintage shops, live music, fado clubs, wineries, and porthouses. I recommend you try a port tonic, my new favorite. If you are into yoga, I suggest you visit my favorite spot for enlightenment, Mana Porto. It feels like a constant celebration in the warm and welcoming city. There are a lot more young people here, which makes it feel that much more vibrant. Like the rest of Portugal, this city is rich in history, beauty, and also yummy food. There are lots of different kinds of neighborhoods to choose from here, from peaceful to active, depending on your lifestyle. With Portugal being the fourth safest country in the world, Porto has low crime rates. Along with the Douro River, Porto also sits on the sea coast, so there are many great beaches to enjoy. Whether you are working for, on your tan 
or enjoying a glass of wine with friends while you watch the sunset, there are plenty of ways to enjoy Porto. Whatever you are looking for, you will likely find it here. Still relatively undiscovered, the gem of Aveiro, often called the Venice of Portugal, is distinguished because of its lovely canals and the flat bottom boats serenely floating through. Aveiro is a charming coastal town located on a large lagoon just off the coast in central Portugal. Away from the big cities, this small town tends to be quiet and peaceful most of the time. Although, like many of these cities and towns along the sea, summers can be quite robust with tourists. With a population of around 80,000, Aveiro is an easy trip by train, car, or bus from Lisbon, just two hours away, and Porto, only about an hour. Like in many other small towns, the Prato da Dia, or plate of the day, typically consists of locally caught fish or meat, veggies, wine, coffee, and dessert, and will typically cost you under 15 euros. Indeed, the best way to experience Aveiro is via boat. If you do just one thing in Aveiro, make it a traditional Malasiero boat tour. These brightly painted crafts are a lot like gondolas in Venice, but were historically used for the local trade in salt and seaweed. See the link below to book your tour. With a population of almost 200,000, Braga has many amenities that can make life more enjoyable. Considered the oldest town in Portugal, the ancient Roman rule is apparent in the historic architecture. The lush, mountainous landscape fills the senses, and with the ocean just 20 miles to the east, there is always something to do. There are fewer expats here, but the numbers are growing as news of this secret gem gets out. Cost of living is less here than in many other regions, yet you still have all the conveniences of modern life, along with all of the beauty of this amazing country. The presence of a thriving university creates a youthful influence here. Weather is pretty temperate year-round, with drier summers and wetter winters. As the third largest metropolitan area in Portugal, Braga has a lot to offer. Did you know that before Lisbon, Coimbra was the original capital of Portugal? The oldest university here is dating back some 600 years. The ancient library is a magnificent find. I hope you get to visit. The university town is located in central Portugal, where the weather can be a bit more mild and cooler than Lisbon, although still quite hot at the peak of summer. Coimbra is famous for its historic architecture, vibrant student life, and rich cultural heritage. Like most cities in Portugal, there is a grand river that flows through town. Now moving down to the southernmost tip of Portugal, we get to explore the Algarve region, known for its gorgeous beaches with warmer water than the north. The whitewashed fishing villages on low cliffs overlooking sandy coves were transformed in the 1960s. Now an expat hotspot, you'll find lots of English speakers, modern apartments, gated housing, villas, hotels, bars, and restaurants. There are lots of great spots down here, but I'm going to share the top three that you'll want to know about. Faro is the capital of the Algarve region in the south of Portugal. It's famous for its stunning beaches, historic old town, and easy access to many other popular destinations in the region. Flights are quick and cheap from Lisbon and other parts of Europe, thanks to the international airport here. Plus, you have very easy access to Morocco to the south, just in case you want to go down for a little adventure. Like other parts of the Algarve, there are many English speakers here, making it easy to get around. Of course, learning the language is important, but it sure is helpful to be around English speakers in the very beginning. One of the liveliest cities in the central Algarve region is Albuferia, a former fishing village, now very popular with tourists and expats alike. Only about half an hour from the Faro airport, Albuferia has become a popular resort town famous for its stunning beaches, lively nightlife, and picturesque old town. 
With a year-round residential population of around 50,000, the city dwells to over 300,000 in the summer with tourists, many of them English speakers. Like all of the Algarve, the beaches and nature are stunning. Winters are cool and summers are hot, perfect for enjoying a cold beer with friends while you watch the sunset. And finally, number 10. Did I save the best for last? You decide. Lagos is a southern Portugal coastal town located in the western Algarve region, famous for, you guessed it, stunning beaches, picturesque old town, and laid-back atmosphere. If you love warm weather, sunny beaches, and crystalline waters, this might be for you. This area also tends to have a pretty rich spiritual culture for those that are interested. You'll find lots of meditation and yoga type events here. People are friendly, the nature is fantastic, and the food pretty darn yummy. When in Lagos, you've got to experience a Golden Coast cruise. There's nothing like it. See the link down below if you want to check it out. There's nothing like getting out into the sea and taking in this extraordinary beauty. Just think, this could be your new home. So these are just some of the amazing places to live over here in Portugal. There are many more. Perhaps you're aware of places or things that I didn't mention here. And if that's the case, do us all a favor and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking. And if you or someone else you know is considering the big move overseas, you may want to check out my really amazing online program on how to move over to Portugal from the United States. Thank you so much for all of your kindness, your care, and your support. You, if you like my channel and subscribe and ding that bell button, it will really help out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.